have here the reproductive system, particularly for the reproduction. It will include the female reproductive system, part D, oogenesis. It would also include the menstrual cycle, part A, B, uterine cycle. And this will be included in the this diagram. Okay, we have the oogenesis and ovarian cycle. First off, we have the oogenesis, which is this way. And then we have the ovarian cycle, which goes this way. Okay, so just uh, to get familiar with the oogenesis, we have the uh, follicle versus the egg. The follicle will have the primary follicle here, then secondary follicle, turns into a mature follicle. Through ovulation, we'll have the corpus luteum. For the egg, we have the oogonia, turning into a primary oocyte. The meiosis one phase is, um, function is to uh, convert the primary oocyte into a secondary oocyte. It's just a phase. Um, in order for secondary oocyte to be, become a fertilized egg, the meiosis two cannot be activated again until fertilization occurs. Now for the ovarian cycle, we have day zero, the follicular phase. It includes the maturation of the follicle, and it also includes the primary oocytes becoming a secondary oocyte uh, through the meiosis one. So see how it, it lines up nicely. Day 14 is ovulation. We have in this in green, ovulation we will have uh, the egg burst through the wall of the ovary and is swept into the uterine tube. Day 28 includes everything in red. Uh, it is called the luteal phase. The corpus luteum particularly, what it does, it is the corpus luteum, it is produced by the follicle cells. The corpus luteum continues to secrete estrogen and progesterone. The corpus luteum degenerates um, at the end of cycle unless it is fertilized, hence the arrow for fertilization. Finally, we will have the uterine cycle for endometrium. So, this we will have a square here. We'll have endometrium. Um, the, there's three phases, day 0, day 14, and day 24. So, the words will basically match up with the phases. And you could also say it's uh, just from left to right. The menstrual period... What occurs, excuse me, the menstrual period, what occurs in this area is the sloughing off of the endometrium, the pro proliferation of blood vessels, or the regeneration of blood vessels occurs in the endometrium, and also the regrowth of the endometrium, plus the thickness of the endometrium. The secretory um, of the endometrium uh, secretes the estrogen, plus it's the thickest phase, day 24. And again, if you, read it from, if you read it from left to right, you'll have menstrual period, which relates to the phase, menses phase, day zero, proliferation, um, it's on day 14, proliferation phase, secretory of estrogen plus thickness, etc. day 24, secretory phase. Uh, so it just matches up nicely and you're able to remember it.